because food is one of the few common experiences left, one of the few things that we really all have in common in this day and age, it immediately uh, works as, as a connective tissue. So when people have food between them, when, when, they, when they share hospitality, the graciousness of receiving and giving of, of food, um, it changes the relationship between the people that are involved. And I, I, I don't think that we can begin to overestimate the positive power of, of that experience. And one of the great things about you know the, the the places that we journey to in this book is that every place we met in a with strangers, and in some cases I realized that I hadn't done that in a really long time, um, and and it it made everything better. And and a lot of things that you know you think that we have differences and everybody has differences, but it's funny how food can make you a lot more alike. I'll be honest, I've uh, I've never done this, so um, I've eaten crawfish. But never, never this way. So you want to talk me through it, or uh... yeah, take your fork. Put, put okay, you do take a fork. Take the fork and you stick them in the eyes. No, I'm teasing. <laughs> it's a common denominator, and it's generally a positive one, and one that people seem to genuinely like to share. You know the intricacies of, of their cuisine. You know, I you know a, a white boy like me walks into a soul food restaurant in in Memphis, someplace, and. The second that I show that I'm genuinely interested in the food and the people that make it, then all of a sudden everything's okay, you know. So I, I think that it has a t an ability to suspend the rest of the world or make make the rest of people's circumstances not matter. So it's 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 a unifying factor. It looks awfully good. Is there any any secret in there that uh, you want to share with us? Secret, secret. But if you told me that it could still be a secret, 